one of the challenges um, with urban renewal in areas like inner and the middle northern suburbs has been the very long shopping strips that then become targets for unit development and we have lowered in trade in those and some industrial factories also coming into transition and just being held by developers and land banking and it's quite it's interstate and international land banking is going on through the city of Darabin. That often leads to neglected building sites or sites rented out just for housing or temporary housing while they're waiting for development applications. And we get a lot of unsightly sites with um, graffiti and tagging, etc., on them. One of the responses of councils have been to hire and um, intersect with, um, you know, intervene um, with artwork projects. Um, that certainly was possible in cash rich councils like Melbourne City Council and inner city councils um, of Yarra and Port Phillip, but it gets less sustainable as a rate pay supported activity in, in bigger suburbs areas when you start covering Preston and Reservoir and a great deal of strip areas that are changing. Um, in response, the community, both residents and artists and traders have begun to broker their own outcomes and this um, street art is exploding um, in this city. Um, it's a great benefit, these are busy murals, you'll see them around. They do discourage tagging for some time, sometimes the taggers will catch up with it, which is unfortunate, but they usually feature very busy designs so they can withstand a fair amount and they add so much culture and character to the whole city. Now, um, one of the ironies, I suppose, is now, um, you know, traders are getting directly together with artists and hiring themselves directly and getting images and, and things that suit them. And sometimes they're better and more interesting than, say, you know, the heavy hand of um, council committees and the like. So, really, we need to be going now to a more a grassroots solution with the street art and you know one of the issues is the rolling out of very heavy fees for outdoor furniture um, which duplicate the city of Yarra type fees in our city probably could be eased off and instead really offer shops that um, encourage artists should be being um, given some kind of fee relief on that because effectively the street side, side cafes and life actually adds to the amenity of the area makes the area seem safer makes the area more welcoming to residents 